In recent videos, uh, you might have noticed that I typically do my sketching and inking in Manga Studio and then export to Photoshop for coloring. Uh, so the reason that I use two separate programs is simply a matter of the strengths and weaknesses of both of those programs. And I thought I would uh, do a series of video tutorials that sort of more closely examine uh, all of the, the tools and features of those programs that I use in the process of creating my comic strip. So these will give you, uh, you know, a, a deeper insight into what goes into creating a comic and certainly, uh, you know, maybe even offer advice to anybody looking to create their own comic. So today for this video, we're going to talk about perspective. Uh, this will include a very basic uh, tutorial on two-point perspective, and then we'll also take a look at the tools within Manga Studio that help streamline that entire process. So now if I wanted to draw, let's say, a city block or, you know, a city corner in this case, what I would do within the panel, first and foremost, is just, uh, you know, I, I would rough out some, some very rudimentary buildings to kind of identify the actual angle that I'm looking for for this shot. So I've already got my building here. And the next step will be to uh, find our vanishing points. So first things first, I'm going to show you the traditional way to do perspective. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll use the actual tools within uh, Manga Studio and, and show you how much easier they make things. So uh, automatically, the first thing that we do is we need our horizon line. I happen to know just from looking at this perspective that uh, our horizon line will fall roughly halfway through this building. And then from here on, we find our vanishing points. It's two point perspective, so there will be two vanishing points. And to do that, I'm just going to find, I'm going to trace the uh, angles here that I've created for this side. And that gives me vanishing point number one will be over here. And then we do the same thing with this side. And as you can see, my rough sketch is actually, my rough sketch is off. So what, what this would be the appropriate perspective. Vanishing point number two. So now I have my guidelines. And so for any other buildings that I want to draw, uh, you know, we're going to use these two vanishing points. If I was doing this on, uh, with like a pencil and paper, uh, I would simply be using a straight edge to um, find all of these lines, but uh, doing it digitally, you, you kind of have to use the line tool and lay down your all of your guidelines. So if I wanted to do another building, I could say, like, let's say we'll do a building here and here. And now, uh, and we would even find, you know, the proper pr perspective for these sets of windows and for where this the top of this door lies. Same thing for these windows over here. As you can see, it gets uh, pretty, pretty uh, messy pretty fast. But then... Now that I have some guidelines done, I can actually go in and set these buildings. So you can see here, um, my initial rough sketch was off for this uh, for this edge of the building. So it would actually come down like that. We'll draw this edge. And so what I'm doing here is I'm using the line tool and following my guidelines that I laid down on a on a different. Again, it's on a different layer so that we can remove that later on but just you just follow your lines I'm gonna fudge that one this one would go here and you do the same thing with your windows and again this is just uh, very quick very rough just to give you an idea now if we remove our sketch layers you can see that we have a couple of buildings or cubes rather but they follow proper perspective so you can you can kind of picture that doing an entire city this way would be very time consuming and that's where manga studios perspective tools come in so we're going to draw the same set of buildings now we're going to start with our our same rough sketch and actually i i can even since i've already found the vanishing points i can even use this but from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a ruler layer and we're going to use a two uh two point perspective ruler and what this does is gives us a set of guidelines. You can see here I've grabbed the horizon line and I'm going to set that where our other horizon line is. Now I just have to drag our vanishing points to where I had previously placed our vanishing points and then I can get rid of this. So now what I have is uh, within Manga Studio uh, a set of movable lines or, or guides 
to, to lock in my perspective. And it does that by snapping my, uh, you won't be able to see it up here, but my pen tool is set to snap to perspective ruler. So what that means is that I won't be able to draw any lines that don't follow this, pers this perspective that I've set up. And to show you what that looks like now, I will just draw this building. And so now I'm not doing this with a line tool, I'm doing this with a pen tool. Uh, so the other benefit to that is whereas a line tool gives you a line that is the same thickness from start to finish, with the pen tool I can use pressure sensitivity and stroke in stroke out to actually give my line some, uh, some weight and some variation if I want to. Uh, but again, it's a lot cleaner and I, and I just know that everything that I'm drawing here is going to fall within that same perspective. So here's that other building throwing it in and then you know I mean honestly you don't even need uh, you know I would typically have this all sketched out but any windows that I want to place I can just draw them in and I know that they're snapped to that perspective same thing with uh, you know let's let's put this sidewalk in real quick so the sidewalk just and we'll put some other buildings here see I can just begin adding buildings that I hadn't initially sketched but I, I know that they're all snapped the appropriate perspective. So you still need to have uh, an understanding of how perspective works or you won't know how to set uh, these rulers especially when you get into the more complex three-point perspective. However you can certainly see that once you have these set up it, it really streamlines the entire process of drawing perspective uh, you know and lets you focus more on uh, creating the actual artwork as opposed to fiddling with the uh, the mechanics of all the guidelines you know, and also, like I said earlier, uh, you wouldn't have all those guidelines if you were doing this with a pencil and paper because you would simply place your ruler on the uh, vanishing point and, and only be putting down your, your finished lines. But um, prior to the perspective tool in Manga Studio, uh, if you wanted to do this digitally, you kind of had to, uh, you know, create all of those uh, low opacity uh, guidelines and then draw on top of them. So this is a tool that comes in handy for... Uh, any sort of interior or exterior where you have uh, buildings, clearly it only works for rectangular objects. If you have uh, objects of other shapes or even, uh, for instance, if we had a building here that didn't sit on the grid, uh, so to speak. If, if uh, you know, maybe this building out in front sat kitty corner to the, uh, to the sidewalk, you would have to, you'd have to create an additional set of rulers or use a variety of other methods to uh, to tackle that but you know for the basics this this really speeds things up